Zaha is about a young man, an Englishman in uh, New York, and he breaks up with his girlfriend and moves in as a lodger with a couple of rich elderly ladies in an opulent apartment on the Upper East Side. They've got all this priceless uh, art on the walls, and together with the young woman who lives in the apartment next door, he steals one of the works of art, and it's an ancient Egyptian-themed piece. And as the uh, stress of the theft begins to work on him more and more, the imagery of ancient Egypt begins to come to life around him. It's unclear whether that's happening in his head or whether it's meant to be really happening. I'd always wanted to write about New York. I've had an obsession with New York since I was a teenager, uh, watching the films of Martin Scorsese and reading books like The Great Gatsby and The Catcher in the Rye. And then I actually got the chance to go and live in New York for real. I got a job at the the Guardian's office uh, there. And my wife and I lived there for three and a half years. So that was the sort of New York aspect. And then the ancient Egyptian theme, which is the other um, important part of the book. I went to um, an exhibition at the British Museum, uh, the ancient Egyptian Book of the Dead, which explained what the ancient Egyptians thought happened to you when you died. And I learned about this concept called the weighing of the heart, where on on your deathbed, you would go to Anubis, who had a weighing scale and had to weigh your heart against a feather. And if your heart was heavier than the feather, you would not be allowed into their afterlife, the field of reeds. Instead, you would be eaten by this appalling monster called the devourer. I love this imagery. I found it so beguiling. And uh, I've had an idea for um, an art theft plot for the book already. But um, at that time, it was a sort of pop art image, I think. And um, as soon as I, as soon as I sort of started to understand this ancient Egyptian imagery, I thought it would be perfect for the book. And especially because my narrator, Nick, is an unreliable narrator. So you're weighing him up through the book. And so the imagery of of the weighing of the heart was perfect from that aspect too. This is my debut novel. It feels really good to finally get this book out there and think that people are reading it and enjoying it. It really feels great to be recognised by the People's Book Prize.